Okay, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac, Craft of the Alarm. I think that we're in a good place. We did some really good challenge runs there, and yeah, so you'll hear some noise in the background. It's my pals. We finally moved in, so we're, we're in a good place. Right, we're going to do some normal runs here. I'm going to do a cane run. We haven't played as cane in what seems to be so long, so... And you know how much I like cane. Man, he's so quick. So we're playing Binding of Isaac. I'm going to be doing some uh, Outlast uh, pretty soon. Or I am. You probably won't. No. <laughs> I just prefer to have, like complete darkness for Outlast because it's much more scary. However, I'm hoping to get the guys in on it as well, which will be interesting. Chocolate milk, first item, not bad at all. Charge shots. Uh, however, we can just kind of press the uh, the keys as much as we can. I would see that as almost a damage up, just because you can send out a load of tears at once, like that. Of course I take a hit there. That's just completely exactly how I play Binding of Isaac. Uh, that didn't kill anything. Could do with a range up with these tiers though, the range isn't too fantastic. But I shall accept it, we're almost six pennies, that's not too bad. Duke of Flies, champion Duke of Flies in fact. So you s really, you're that guy? Shouldn't be too hard to beat Duke of Flies. I'm kind of over-recording Binding of Isaac videos. Ugh. Way too many hits already on this boss. Even though it was just one. <laughs> Don't like bosses. Straight me. Oh, we got a heart though, so we can go and pick that up if we maneuver ourselves properly. Just like that. And he's gonna hear stuff. What the hell is that noise? Okay. Might have to pick up a heart here. And just move on down this way. Bear me a second. Okay, we're back. I just had to sort some stuff out. But we're back now. Ah, oh, the bomb! Oh wow! Whoa! I forgot that I had charge shots for like half a second there. Wonderful, wonderful spiders that we're going to be taking on. Don't really like these guys at all. I'm at a point in Outlast, and um, you'll probably see it if you've watched that series. Links in the description, or just check out the channel as a whole. Um, I'm kind of trapped in a room, if I remember rightly, where I'll probably die. And you'll, when you see it, you'll see that I've trapped myself in a room and. <laughs> I've locked, pre I have actually locked myself in the room, I'll have to unlock it and let the bad guys come and get me, which is kind of a worry. Book of Shadows gives us a shield, recharges every three rooms, I think? I honestly don't know if that's, you know, how many, how many times it recharges, I probably could use it, but I'll, I'll use it against the boss, just because we haven't had a health upgrade. We okay, and we're taking silly damage with Kane, very silly damage with Kane, I'm going to go back and pick up that heart up there, take the poop out. Nothing in the poop. I'll be okay with that. Half a heart. I thought it was a full. Okay, well, maybe we'll need to use the Book of Shadows a little bit earlier than we had planned. Hmm. Okay. This shouldn't be too difficult. Just one leaper left. Ah, oh, they just leap so far. Whoa, you do. You got stuck for ages there, by the looks of things. Pick up a bomb. Still not enough, really, to warrant going to the secret room. Especially if we find a tinted rock. Ah. Come on, play, play nice. Pick ourselves up a key. We're not going to go to the boss just yet. Oh, well, yeah, apparently we are. It's self sacrifice room. Uh, pick up the half heart and head into the boss. Peep. Oh, okay, don't need any. You know, any Book of Shadows with Peep. At least I don't think we do. Uh, Book of Shadows can actually work really well with a. Um, what are they called? The Blood Banks. Because you can actually play the Blood Bank a couple of times for free, so finding an arcade would be nice. Or just a Blood Bank that's kind of hiding around would also be kind of cool. Tears up for Wire Coat Hanger. Let's see what we have here. Oh, well, nothing we can get here at all, because we will die immediately. So we have Tears up, which is nice. It's, you know, helpful, but not, like, exactly what I was looking for. This is a bit of a frustrating room, because these guys will... Whoa! I wasn't expecting them to, to turn. Now we're in a pickle. We may die, so I'm going to use Book of Shadows and take these guys out, even though I know I can't get a heart in a good place here unless this guy drops one, which I would massively appreciate. No, he just dropped two coins, which is pointless for me. Okay, could definitely die here. Um, definitely, definitely die here, really. Okay, maybe not. Wow, that was close. The tears up. I feel like our damage has got better. I wonder if chocolate milk actually ups damage. Please be a full health. 
the devil card. I'll take it. I'll use the key to get in the treasure room. Magneto. Okay. Not the best in the world. Uh, we've had that on the last couple of runs anyway, so... Hmm. I'm a little bit scared at this point in time. I'm going to the library with the key. What have we got? Anarchist cookbook and telepathy for dummies. Not very good. We've kind of got the Book of Shadows. I would have hoped for the Book of Revelations, really. If I had the choice, but sometimes... Just not that lucky. Okay, this is a problem room. Maggie's a devil. Let's go. Make my tears super powered. Okay. That didn't go very well. Let's replay with Kane. We died. Um, quite embarrassingly, actually. Not completely happy with how my performance went there. I can't really change it now, though. Because it's been done and I've recorded it and you guys are seeing it. So, hopefully you don't get angry too much. Pretty much wasted five minutes of the video. Death card, I will take. would really like to get to the... Uh, treasure room at some point. That would be really nice. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Lots of flies, including a bullet fly. Please don't put the angelic fly, because I don't want him to turn into a bullet fly. Preferably. Another coin. Oh, God. <laughs> I say I don't want him as a bullet fly, and then he turns into one anyway. Treasure room. Oh. Scapula, is it? Or oh, deck of cards. Look like a scapula. Hermit just takes us to the shop. Um, we may come back for that card. Maybe. If we... It's not really an important card. And I'd rather use death on the boss and take that. So, if you hear background noise, by the way, it's my uh, flatmates. Apologies, we're now living in a house together, so they're going to have to... I have to record around them. Um, so, that's just how it's going to be. So, if that kind of stuff kind of annoys you, can use death card here. And do a lot, and they're playing GTA as well, so that's probably why. The only problem with Kane, and it, I can't believe to hit a monstro, man. What is it? It's fucking bottom again. Um, they're playing GTA, so you might hear a lot of like, whoa, that's terrible. Oh, no, no, please don't hurt me. I don't know. However, you sound when you play GTA, which I've been playing quite a lot recently. Uh, in between Binding of Isaac and Outlast episodes, because Outlast is pretty good. I might actually try and get Outlast done. Um, after I finish this run, and then I can play with the, the guys and let them play it themselves, which I think would be cool. Mum's coin purse, not the best, uh, but we get either good or neutral pills for a cane, so all of these should be alright. Two bombs, kind of lose my keys, which is a bit shitty. Look up, um, full health, and another look up. I might as well use uh, two bombs. I will go into the secret room. You never know what it could be. Of course it's money. We always get money uh, when we're playing this. I'm just going to manoeuvre my microphone so it's a little closer to me and a little bit less away from my uh, clicks on the keyboard that I have here. So, Okay, so basement two. We haven't got any keys to go into the treasure room, which would have been nice first thing. Gish, not a difficult enemy when you just stand next to him, whereas with cubes of meat, that can be a bit of a pain in the ass. And we're green for whatever reason. Ah, oh, we got a key. We can go back and head into the treasure room. Hopefully there's something good. Our luck is up, so we should get something uh, pretty awesome. Okay, we've never had this before. I have no idea what it does, but it will tell us as soon as we pick it up. Mum's contacts, freeze effect tears. Oh, well, that'll just freeze enemies, which is quite good. Because uh, you can get probably one more hit than normally used to. See, they, they, they turn like a black colour or a grey. That's them frozen. So... That should come in handy at some point later on in the playthrough. Uh, that's a lasting effect on your tears as well, so... Very good. Very good indeed. Especially for these enemies, who I really, really, really dislike. <laughs> oh, come on. That's a real pain. How dare you. So I'm going to record some of this, then record some Outlast, and then probably play GTA. But I want to get Outlast finished today, really. I've said that for like the past three episodes <laughs> of Binding of Isaac, I mean. And of Isaac, I keep thinking, it, um, at Outlast, I keep thinking that it's going to end. And it never does. It's kind of annoying. Annoying in a good way, because that game's really good. And very atmospheric, especially with my headphones on. So, okay, Judgment Card, that's one of everything, I think. Oh no, uh, Bum Friend. Okay, I'll use a couple of coins here. So he can give us a health up. Gives us a key, which is always nice. I'll use all my coins until we get a health up, hopefully. Um... I like the Judgment card. When he can give us stuff like this, I, I really like it. You're just giving me health now. 
And I've got five goes left. Scrunch that face up. Come on. Please? No? Oh, you're going to be that guy. Well, you got one coin left after this. Does he turn into a... Okay. Well, I'll accept that. Not too bad. Uh, freezing effect on Larry Jr. That's definitely going to come in here at some point. Which I don't really like. I don't know how the, the freezing effect or how often it hits. Clearly not enough to take out Larry Jr. However, we are cutting its head off, which is nice. Kind of a really good item to have for Larry Jr. By the looks of things. It's taking a lot of hits, this one, isn't it? Whoa, come on! And we killed him. Ah, oh, magic eight ball, really? <laughs> Hangman gives us flight for one room. Just have to go on to the next one. I wasn't going to use my bomb there. There's no real point. Uh, we may get a tinted rock on this floor. Uh, yeah, I'll use the... Oh, I'll use my only bomb. I meant to press Q. Shit. But we uh, pick all that back up. Mr. Boom, which is going to give us 10 bombs and uh, blast damage. So if we pick up, like, Dr. Fetus, that could be uh, coming up trumps for definite. Okay, these guys are frustrating enemies because they can hit me from miles away. And I can't ever tell the perspective of how they're going to do it. Oh, they've unlocked the secret room for me. Thank you. That's a very strange place for the secret room to be. But I will accept your gracious offer. Half a heart that I don't need. More money here. Which is really cool. Um, da, 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 da. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, let's go and explore the floor. We probably could go to the boss straight away, but we may get some more money and then go into the shop is definitely feasible on this floor. Oh, I just don't like spiders. A damage up would be really cool. Like a freeze attack and a damage up would be really nice. We seem to have a lot of health, but Guppy's Paw could be useful. Um, not Guppy's Paw. Actually, I don't even know who I'm talking about. Don't like these guys, but we're going to get more money, so... Yeah, I will... Definitely, definitely got the shop on this floor. Um, and if you didn't know what we were kind of doing in this run, we are looking for uh, a mum's heart kill. Uh, the more of those we can get, the better. I will take that. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a squeeze. Right, of course, I get hit, which is only fair. The shop better be over here, and if it's greed, I'll be very, very upset. But hey. A treasure map I will pick up, and I'll also pick up... Yeah, I'll pick up death. Yeah. I'll accept that as being very good. I'm just going to manoeuvre my headphones around so I can actually hear the game. Which I can very nicely. Hmm... I don't know how I want to kind of describe this run so far. Not perfect is probably the best description. Uh, we've had two death cards on two consecutive bosses, so... Do the math. The husk? Yeah, I'll use death. The necronomicon, that's interesting. I think we haven't unlocked the necronomicon yet. And the freezing effect wins again. The husk isn't too bad, but it is a champion husk, so he's going to drop something as well as the item that he drops. But his health is so low that it shouldn't be much of an issue. And then his fly friends aren't a problem. Just these uh, red flies are a real pain in my ass. And then, of course, he's got grandfather flies, who I hate anyway. So I'm going to get HP up. And we're going to use the space bar item, which gives us the stars. That's going to show us where everything is on the next floor, I think. So we've got the treasure map anyway. We're going to use the stars. Oh, it teleports us to the treasure room. Interesting. Uh, crack in the sky. Yeah, I'll take that. That's a good item. If you're in a room full of enemies. As you can see, we know where the secret room is, but we don't know where, it, where any of the other rooms are. So we'll try and take these guys out when we can. Come on now. <laughs> Please. There we go. Isaac's Fork. Uh, I think that just gives us damage. I think. I th no, not damage. It heals us. Um, every so often it's got like a third chance of healing, I think. Very strange effect that that, that card can have. Oh, the, the trinket can have. My mind's all over the place. Oh, okay. That was unfortunate. But we're in a good place to kind of take them all out here. The problem with these guys, 
got so much health. I've got a lot of health. And we did lose a coin. Ah, uh, I just walk into their attacks. And I'm not utilising the fact that they are frozen until it's too late. However, my freezing attacks kind of did what they wanted to do there, so... A uh, good place for a crack in the sky. Absolutely nothing. As if all of the enemies on this map, on this, you know, floor, did, didn't did even get hit by a crack in the sky. What a waste. The freezing effect doesn't seem to happen very often. That's unfortunate. Come on. These, these guys have so much health. It's unreal. And, of course, let's see what's in the super, super secret room. Mum's Pearl, yeah, I think that uh, increases spirit heart drops. I'm going to use a key to get in here. The candle of 15. <sighs> yep. Okay, so we know what it is. We're going to go see if we can get some more monies. We've got f nine bombs, and all we need is 15 cents. I know there's keys in, uh, coins in this room. Two bombs for four cents. Not worth it just yet. If we get desperate, maybe. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, bum friend as well. Oh, that's that's rough game. Oh, just just die. Yeah, just get hit by the the spirit flies is a great idea. So heart and a half left, which could prove very difficult for us. Secret rooms coming up though. So killing that would be nice. We get to stop one of the guys in its convoy. Kind of wish that the freezing effect would happen a little bit more than it is. Oh, well, that's nice. We're going to use the bomb to get up into the secret room. And we're going to have enough for the candle, which I'm going to go back and get right now. Because why the hell would I not do that? The candle is an awesome item and is the best item in the game. By my calculations, because it respawns so very often. Okay, what are we, 17 minutes into the, into the video? Very... Standard run so far, I don't think there's anything that's, you know, outstanding. Okay. Really, you didn't, you didn't do anything for me there. The freezing effect with the candle works well. Because <laughs> you can stop them, then you can take some time to aim the candle for them. Oh, troll bar. Of course it is. The boss room is up here. Yep. I am really crap at this game. I'm crap with... Oh, good lord. And there's a tinted rock which I almost missed. With a spirit heart in it. One coin, yeah. And then we go and take the boss on, who is the hollow, okay. Well, the freezing effect could work. However, we can lose a lot of damage trying to beat the hollow here. Oh, that is such a bullshit move. And the hollow's dead. And we get HP up. Of course we do. Okay, nothing else to get on that room. Let's head on down. Difficult. I don't know. Just a weird, uh, you know, turn of events. That was a waste of a candle. Not that it matters. We pretty much have unlimited candle usage. Oh, actually, Moro. I'm taking so many hits. I think I just need to take my time a little bit more. Be a bit more. Wow, this is a problem. That was terrible as well. How... Are you serious, game? The candle didn't kill that. Back to full health, so... You know, not too angry. What's with the candle's terrible damage? Why am I taking so much damage? I say I want to play more conservatively. I I can't even do that. I don't understand what's happening. The candle should be better than this. Let's go into the treasure room. What are you going to give me? If that's a lemon mishap, who would... Unbelievable item is a lemon mishap. It's so bad. However, if you've got nothing, then it can be useful. I'm going to pick up another bomb. I think the boss may be over here. Um can't get that. The boss is here. Where does the candle go? Pretty far by the looks of things. Pick the bomb up. Head into the boss room. Oh, gish. Okay. Interesting. 
Uh, Gish has got a lot of health um, from what I remember the last time we took Gish on. Come on, send the candle its way. See, this is where it becomes a really, really good way to, to beat this boss when you've got freezing effects. Okay, this is a bit of an issue. We should be able to beat him. There we go. Destroyed, and we get a little gish, which I always like. I'm just going to head on down. I'm honestly not fussed anymore. This is the mum floor. Uh, we will go to the secret room over this way now. We, this one's a little bit more difficult to... Okay, so we've got two slowing down effects now. Um, which is interesting. It's going to be a really interesting run, is this, with all the, you know, power-ups that we can, you know, scale on top of each other. Uh, three cents. I might as well play it. It could give me something. Our luck is up, so hopefully that will do wonders for our slot machines. However, last go. Please give me something. You give me a full heart, which is exactly what I wanted. I will use a bomb to blow you up, because I probably won't be coming back in here. You give me my bomb back and a single penny, so thanks. Thanks. Okay. Took two of them out in one go, which is always good. Pick a key up if we need it. The candle is just so good, it beats all things in the game. <laughs> just because it does so much damage. I would still like a, a damage up, if that's possible. We've got another library, so it might be worth going to, if we can get some health. Taking way too much damage here. That guy's really annoying. So are you. And that's what you get for being annoying. I use my key to go in here. Uh, Booker's in. I use it once. Gives me a penny, okay. Not a bad item is the Booker's in, if you uh, can use it well. I, the boss may be this way. If it's not, my bad. There is a secret, there's a way to do this. You do it there. Uh, you, you stand right by the... The way that you, you should kind of do it is... Stand like here where I'm standing now on each surface and the other guy can't hit you the other side, the opposite side. And that's probably the worst way to kind of describe it ever in the history of anything. <laughs> and now we have to wait for all the brain goo to clear up because we can't go anywhere. Let's head on into Mum, which sounds really good. Blue Mum, bit of a problem. Um, spawns a lot of, uh, I think it's Wrath of the Llama enemies. So you want to kind of defeat her as soon as possible. I don't know, even know how I got hit there. I honestly don't know how I got hit there. What's happening? There's a goddamn spider there. Half a heart left. That was incredibly close. We've got no health. We've beaten Mum. I'm just going to head down. I know you're thinking this is crazy. I'm playing dangerously. Okay, use this to our advantage. Oh my god. These guys are going to do one full hit of damage as well. So going to the secret room. Hopefully. Ah, oh, you It just means I'm going to have to go and explore stuff. Which is kind of a worry. Because at this point, I'm in a bit of a jam. Oh, well the free shots kind of helps when you're taking this guy out. Still no health. Right. How did that work? Okay. Let's use the candle as much as we possibly can here. That's kind of frustrating. Way of doing things. Luckily, I think we're going to be okay. I'm trying to wonder if I... Ugh, I can't do any. Unbelievable. Right. Ugh. Wasn't in the right frame of mind for this game. Very embarrassing defeat. I played so recklessly there. I will make sure I amend that in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.